guys, today in this video, I wanna show you a spot in my garden that's really overgrown and needs some major attention. Let me show you a picture. So you can see that this bed wraps around one corner of our gazebo, and the one plant in the center, this viburnum, is massive. It's way overgrown, way too tall. It's blocking the view from inside the gazebo out and outside the gazebo in, and I don't want that. There's also a few roses. There's two roses right around the base of the shade tree there that you can tell were planted when the shade tree was a lot smaller. And now that they're not getting enough sun, they're really weak, they stretch toward the light. There's also a third rose right behind the boxwood cone that was planted way too close to the boxwood and now the boxwood is like crowding it out. And there's also a caryopteris that is coming out over the walkway. And then right in front of the viburnum, there are a few just tired perennials. So. For all of those reasons, these plants have got to go. It looks better just having those big overgrown plants gone out of this space. I can see the side of the gazebo now and that was the goal. So there were a few plants that I kept. Of course the shade tree had to keep that. There's a cone boxwood here. I love the structure of that. There's another one right around the corner here. So they kind of mirror each other. And then there's a few shade perennials right back around this side. A couple hostas and a hookera that are really nice. And then a small drift of birch hybrid campanula which is a really pretty low growing perennial. Uh, blooms really cute purple flowers. I don't know if I'll keep those long term, but they're okay for now. So let me show you what the plan is. Okay guys, the gazebo is approximately nine feet this way and five feet this way. And the bed is shaped kind of like this, a big giant swoop. The ash tree is about here, boxwood cone right in here, another boxwood cone right here, a small drift of birch hybrid campanula that stops right about there and then a few shade-loving perennials right in here that are really pretty. So the first thing I wanted to do and add back into this space was another evergreen element. And I wanna go kind of midway in between these two boxwoods. So I'm gonna add it right here, right on the, cor the corner of the gazebo. And I'm gonna use a North Pole Arborvita spiral because I love topiaries and Arborvitas will take the lower sun requirements. This is a part sun area, so I have to put something in there that can tolerate that. So my next layer down, I'm gonna add in two Vanilla Spice Summer Sweets right here. And you guys, I'm so excited about these shrubs. They bloom right in the middle of summer and they have the most amazing fragrance. So when we're actually out here, being able to enjoy the gazebo and eat our dinners, we'll be able to smell that fragrance. Really looking forward to that. The next thing is a grassy texture. So right in this spot around the tree trunk, I'm gonna add in some variegated iris. And these will fill in and be beautiful and they will give me some spring color. So I'll have spring color here, summer color here, and then I've got my winter interest going on. Really important to try to incorporate all the seasons. Now for the rest of this bed, I'm actually uncertain as to what I want to put in to fill this area in. So this is where I'm gonna put in a bunch of Keystone Copper Coleus. And these are annual plants, but I love to add annuals into newly planted areas because all of these plants will look pretty puny this first year. They won't be filled in, and I want something that will fill in the space and make me feel like I did something that looks really pretty. So Keystone Copper Coleus will be a gorgeous color, especially for late summer, fall. And then right here, I'm gonna put in a little drift of Angelonia, which is a really sweet purple bloom, blooms through the summer. And then to take it over the top, I may add in some purple fountain grass. They are always good in a pinch. These will grow big just in one season and then they can come out and leave room for the rest of everything to grow and fill in. Like to place all of my plants before I start planting that way I can make some adjustments like in my drawing I had three purple fountain grasses back here and I think I'm gonna only be able to fit two so it's always good to lay them out take a look stand back and make any adjustments that you need to make before you start digging holes so now all I need to do is plant them
guys, it turned out so pretty. These plants look so good together. I did put a layer of thick mulch down uh, because I think that that is so important in any landscape job. It's like the mascara that just makes it over the top gorgeous. I just love the way it looks. There are a few things I would love for you to take away from this video. The first one is, it is okay to rip plants out. Even if they're seemingly healthy or still blooming, if it doesn't look pretty and you don't like it, tear it out. You can either dig it up and move it somewhere else or compost it, but plant something that you really, really love. The second thing is, is to pick out plants that are the right size for your area because that's the problem I was dealing with. I had one shrub. One shrub was blocking this entire side of the gazebo. So this, that shrub was clearly not a good choice for this spot. So we have a North Pole Arborvita spiral that is naturally a thinner plant so I can kind of keep that one trimmed to shape right there and it'll last for years and years and years and look beautiful. The summer sweets right here, they grow three to five feet and I'll probably keep them on the three foot side of things. I can go out late winter, early spring and give them a nice prune and they bloom on new wood. So I'll get fresh blooms every single summer. Then I have variegated iris over there that will just do really great and it'll slowly fill in that area which I want it to do and it'll be several years before I have to dig any of that out. And the rest of the whole area, like I said earlier, is all annuals. And I think I'm gonna leave it that way. I was thinking maybe I would put perennials in here, but after I got this area done, I ran in the house and I can see this spot from every single window that I do most of my living in, like my closet, um, our bathroom, living room, great room, kitchen, all of those rooms face this section. And if I have some really gorgeous color right here, I think that I'll be really, really happy with this area. So I have Keystone Copper Coleus, some Purple Angelonia, and then three Purple Fountain Grasses. And I did plant a lot in here and that is on purpose because I want them to fill in and be over the top gorgeous. If you have areas like this in your yard, you do not have to do it all at one time like I did. Start with the biggest problem first. You can just take out the one shrub that's huge and plant something in that's appropriate size. And then every year, you can go in and take one thing out and add something else in. Or if you're like me and wanna do it all at one time, you can do that too. That's the beauty of gardening. You can kind of tailor it to your lifestyle and your budget and how much work you wanna do. I think that this area is really pretty and now I'm really looking forward to doing the other side. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.